elephant. Oh, thank you. And here's your change. Oh, you mm. oh nice shop. Oh, thanks, Max. <laughs> and Mr. Lammy, what can I get for you today? Pardon me? Oh, no, I'm very sorry. I haven't got any of those today. Mm. Well, I haven't got very much to sell in my shop at all, really. I need some more things. Right. Come on, monkey. Let's find some. Right. Oh, Doodles, hmm? will you look after my shop for me? Right. Oh. You can be my guard dog. Oh, right. Uh, oh, OK, yes. Uh, must watch the shop, yes. Uh, must watch the... Uh... Hmm. Oh, yes. hmm. I know it's a bit naughty, but let's look in the kitchen. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, monkey, there's not much in here for my shop. This cupboard's nearly empty. There's only this old bucket and dirty cloth in this one. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, what, what's in those cupboards up there? Hmm. Oh, a bit hard for me to look into. Oh, I know. There's a chair over here. I'll be able to reach it if I stand on that. Hmm. Right. Oh, this chair's a bit wobbly. Shouldn't really be doing this. But, well, I do need some more stuff for my shop. Oh, look, monkey. There's lots and lots of things in here. Perhaps I can borrow some. I'll put them all back carefully. There you are, Mrs. Panda Bear. There's your bl 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 um, blue water. Thank you. Oh, what was that, Dolly? Oh, you want the orange one, do you? OK. Well, it's, uh, it's an orange bottle, so it's probably juice. Thank you. Now, who's next? Uh, oh, um, <laughs> hello, Fish. Oh, you have got a lot of things for sale, haven't you, eh? Oh, I know, Max. <laughs> this is my super duper market. You can buy all sorts of things here. Yeah, so I can see you've got nice. Li mm. hey, fish, mm. hang on. What? Where did you get this from? And, and oh. this? Oh, and this? And uh, all these bottles mm. and tins? Oh, there's a cupboard in the kitchen, Max. That's uh, full of them. Oh. Well, well, it's a bit difficult for me to get to because it's very high up. Yes, I know, Fizz, and it's very high up for a very good reason. That's where we keep all the special cleaning stuff. You mustn't play with any of it, I'm afraid. Oh, why not, Max? The bottles are all such nice colours, and they look really good in my shop. Oh, I know, Fizz, but look, it's the stuff inside the bottles that's not so nice. Mm -hmm. Some of it can be quite dangerous if you get it on your skin, or, or very, very bad for you if you drink any. In fact, you can be very poorly even just smelling some of this stuff. Oh. So, look, I'll put it all back in the cupboard, out of harm's way, all right? <laughs> OK, now the shop. Oh, no! Where's the shop? I'm the guard dog, but uh, somebody's stolen the shop. It's all right, Doodles, you sleepy old dog. I'm not playing shops anymore. Uh, why not? Well... I didn't have many things to sell in my shop, so I went into the kitchen. Ooh. And at first I couldn't find anything. But then I looked in a really high cupboard Oops. and I found all sorts of nice coloured bottles. And so I put them in my shop. Uh-oh, you're not supposed to play with all that stuff, Fish. Mm, Max had to put them all back because he told me they had cleaning stuff inside yeah. that was very nasty yeah. and that I shouldn't play with any of those bottles. The best and safest idea, Fizzy. Mm. <laughs> It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keeping your head what between each shed, then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Clean, clean, cleaning stuff. It's all about cleaning stuff. Yeah, clean, clean, cleaning stuff. What should we do with cleaning stuff? Kept in a cupboard or under the sink If you see these things, just stop and think Don't go near, keep well away Don't ever touch or use them to play It's fun to play with your friends every day And we'll all play shake together Safe with the tweenies, leaving toys lying around.
Oh, yeah. oh, hello, I'm back from the shops. Uh, yeah. I couldn't get the... Oh, yeah. 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 What was that? Uh, hi, Max. Uh, this is my airy port. Uh, this is Teddy Bear Pilot, and this is... Oh, oh uh, was one of my airy planes. Uh, Are you trudged on it? Well, Jake, you're playing right in front of the door. Uh, I can't see your toys on the floor when I'm carrying a box like this one. No way. wonder I stepped on it. Look, it's all broke now. Oh, I have to play with something else. Oh. No, Jake, don't leave them there. No. Oh, well, I suppose I'll pick them up. Oh. <laughs> Bella, Queen of the Jungle, wins the giant snake battle! Ta-da! There. And, um, don't try to squeeze and squash me again. Hmm. I wonder what Fizzy's up to. Oh, more tea, anyone? Oh, a tea party! Great! Snakes lying about. Could have had a nasty accident. Snakey, what are you doing? Hey, that's my boy, Lizzles. Hey, come back here, you. You can't catch me. I'm too fast. Oh, yes, I can. And oh, no, you're not. Whoa! Oh, who left this stuff here? Are you all right, Doodles? Oh, come on. Oh, yes, I think so. I Nothing broken. I'd better have a lie down, though, you know. I could have hurt myself. Oh, I'll just go and do the washing up. We'll play some party games when I get... Oh! Are you okay, Fizz? Yeah! Yeah! What's happening? Mm, I think I'd like to know the answer to that question, too. <laughs> now, what happened, Fizz? Oh, Doodle's ball was left on the floor, Judy. Mm -hmm. I slipped on it and dropped everything. Look, this cup is actually broken. Oh, dear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I put the ball there because Doodles couldn't play anymore. That's right. I had to lie down because I tripped over some snakes and a scooter. I could have hurt myself, you know. So, who left the scooter lying around? Um, I, I did, Judy. But I nearly had an accident scooting into those snakes over there. Oh, and who was playing with the snakes? Um, me, Judy. I what? left them to go to Fizz's tea party. Oh. Mm. And what about you, Jake? Oh, I didn't do anything, Judy. I was looking for something to play with. Oh, and the toy box, is it? Uh, well, mm, I can um, see that. Uh, yes, um, I... And Max tells me he stepped on one of your aeroplanes that was on the floor by the front door. Ah, uh, yes, that because... Well, it's just lucky that nobody has been hurt today. Now, Jake, you mustn't leave any toys on the floor by the front door. People come in and out through there, and they can't always see what's on the floor. Uh, Max might have tripped and fallen. I can't, Judy. And Bella, Milo, yeah. you both could have caused nasty accidents by leaving your things lying around in the middle of the floor like that. Uh, hey, come back here, you with my bowl, is <laughs> You can't catch me! I can! When you finish playing with something, put it somewhere safe. Or better still... Put it away so that it won't cause a problem to anybody else. What shall I do about my cup, Judy? Oh, unfortunately it's broken, Fizz, and, oh. and left a very sharp edge which you could cut yourself on. So I'll have to throw this one away, I'm afraid. Yeah. All right, Judy. We'd better throw it away now so that no one can hurt themselves. Yes. Yeah. Now then, talking about toys around the place, yeah. that mess by the toy box is the kind of thing that causes accidents. Yeah. What do you think we should do about it? Uh. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. For keeping your head, what the tweenies said. And we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Toys left lying around. We're talking today about toys. Toys, toys left lying around. Oh, what should we do with these toys? Don't leave your toys lying around. Someone may trip and fall down on the ground. Accidents happen if we don't take care. Pick up your plane and teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together.
I wonder what they're up to. It's very quiet round here. Well, would you look at that? They're all playing nicely out there in the garden. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll get the video camera, then I can show them later how good they were today. These white stones look like tiny snowballs. I know. <laughs> Two armies decide to have a snowball fight. Yeah, right. Aim and fire. <laughs> Catch, fella. Got it. To you, Fizz. Oh, can I play? Oh, all right, Isles. Give me your... Oh, Fizz, I wasn't ready. Sorry, Fizz. I didn't know. How would you like it if oh, I threw yes. it at oh. you? Bad pirate, <laughs> and I'm looking for buried treasure. Perdue. <laughs> now then, I've got my video camera, so here goes. Fire! What's going on? <laughs> What's Milo doing? <laughs> Throwing <laughs> stones? Fire! We'll have to have a word with me about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, look out, Fizz! Oh, no. Phew, that was close. Oh, no, no, Bella! That was naughty throwing the ball at Fizz like that. Look out, Bella! Jake knows he's not supposed to throw sand around. We certainly don't like people throwing things at the top of the slide. What has got into everyone? But everybody, stop! Ah, I'd like you all to go inside and sit at the TV. I've got something to show you. Sorry, Max. It was busy as fuck. I'm a pirate, please. Now, I'd like you all to watch this video and see if you can see what was happening that shouldn't have been happening. Oh, oh, oh that's me, Max. I'm playing with my soldiers. Yeah, and are they throwing stones, Milo? No, Max, I am. Oh, dear. Oh, there's Fizz and Izzles, look. Milo, you nearly hit us with some of those stones. Oh. Now, Jake, what are you doing here? I'm digging for... well, um... Yes, and where's that sand going? Uh, mm. Over the bed, yeah. Yes. yes. It was, Jake. Over me. And is that you throwing things on the top of the slide, Fizz? Mm. Yeah, that was... Yes, 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 Fizz. Yes, Max. Right, now, let's start with you, Milo. What were you doing that you shouldn't? Oh. Throwing stones, Max. Oh. And why shouldn't you have been throwing stones? Because yeah. I could have hurt Fizz or Rizzles, Max. Yeah. Sorry, Fizz. Mm. Sorry, Rizzles. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Now, what about you, Bella? Um, I got cross and started throwing the ball at Fizz. Which mm. is not a nice way to play, is it? Yeah. Um, no, Max. No. Sorry, Fizz. Mm. Sorry. Jake, and what do you not do in the sandpit? I throw the sand around, Max, because it might go into somebody's eyes. Mm. I mm. forgot. Sorry, Bella. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now, Fizz, what about you? Well, it's very dangerous to throw things from the top of the slide, Max. Yeah. I won't do it again. Sorry. Oh, well done, everybody. I'm glad you can see how dangerous it can be to throw things about. Now, mm. go on. Off you go to play outside. And remember... But, no, no throwing! throwing. Okay. In your head, what the tweenies said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Throwing, throwing, throwing things is a dangerous way to play. Throwing, throwing, throwing things. What have we learned today? Throwing a ball with your friends is fun. Throwing other things just shouldn't be. Done. Throwing stones or toys Or sun when you play Who hurt your friends in a serious way <laughs> It's fun to play with your friends every day And we'll all play safe together Safe with the Tweenies. Garden Shed.
There we are. Oh, that's looking a bit better. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a nice tidy shed with everything safely in its place. <laughs> and with a bit of luck, Stan will ring today and he'll tell me he can come and fix this lawnmower for me. Oh, he's a whiz with machines, you know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I bet that's him. <laughs> now, uh, what did I do with the padlock? Uh, oh, it was here a minute ago. Um, Max, shall I answer the phone for you? Hey, uh, uh, no, no, it's all right, Marlo. I'll get it. Uh, no, I won't be long. I'll find the padlock later. Now, Jake. Yes. Teddy is feeling poorly. Dolly needs her nappy changing. Oh, so you're going <laughs> to cook the dinner. Oh. There must be something in the fridge, Jake. Well, where's the fridge then? It's um over there somewhere, Jakey. Oh, the tender. Oh, Ben. Oh, this house is too small. We need some more room. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I've just had the best idea ever. Oh. <laughs> What's going on then? What we need, Jakey, is a house like this one. Where we? Look. It's got a door yeah. and a window <gasps> and shelves to put things on. Loads of room. Yeah, but I think that's Max's little house, Bella. But he's not playing in it now, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stands a marvel. He's got me a second-hand mower that's better than me old one. <laughs> or at least it will be when he's fixed it up. <laughs> Cheap as well, he says. <laughs> No, what the flying flower pot is going on here? Hi, Max. Hey. Oh, uh, we're sharing your little housey with you. Uh, do you want to play housey with us? Max, what do you use this for? No, Jake, stop right there. Hmm. And I'll take that. Oh. Thank you. Now, both of you, come and sit down here on the slide. Oh. Come on. Look here. Right. Now, what do you think you were doing in my shed, eh? We didn't have enough room, Max. No. Oh, we only wanted a little house like yours. But... Sorry, Max. Oh, dear. Oh, look, 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 it's all right. Uh, there's no harm done this time. Uh, luckily, uh, that shed is where I keep all the gardening things. Yeah. And some of them are dangerous, you know. Oh, yeah. Not the kind of things that you should be touching anyway. Oh, I mean, look, look. This is very sharp along this edge, you see. Oh, it is, Max. Yeah. And this one has got some nasty pointy bits oh, at the yeah, end. Yeah. You could have hurt yourselves on. Yeah. 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 So, some of the stuff in here is very, very heavy. Mm. And you could have dropped something on your toe. No. Yeah. And in this can, there's something very yucky for painting the fence. And even I have to wear gloves and old clothes and oh. things when I do that job. Do you, Max? So, you see, you really mustn't play around in the garden shed or with any of the things in it. Oh. Well, um, we didn't think you'd mind us playing. In there, Max. No, I know, Bella. No, it's partly my fault, too. Uh, oh. I was only inside for a few moments. So. Oh. oh, well, you, you know all about the shed now, don't you, eh? Yes, Max. We mustn't play in the shed. Oh. Or with any of the things inside the shed, Max. Quite yeah. right. Yeah. Now, I wonder what's happened to my padlock. Um, <laughs> Max, is that your paddy locky thingy? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I remember now. I put it there so that I wouldn't lose it. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> but, Max, we still need a bigger house to play in. Yeah. Uh, ah, well, there is a house in the house that's just the house you need to play house. <gasps> the the Playhouse! Play yeah! <laughs> <laughs> snack, snack time! Max! Oh. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. For keeping your head what the tweenies said Then we'll all play safe together Yes, we'll all play safe together Sheds, sheds, garden sheds We're talking today about sheds That's right! Sheds, sheds, garden sheds What is there to say about sheds? Max keeps the shed door locked up tight Sharp, heavy things kept out of sight. Don't touch the tools, play with toys instead. Everything is safely in the garden shed. Oh. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together. with the tweenies. 
swing. Yeah, gently, Dettles. Okay, Jakey. <laughs> yeah. Whee! Oh, I love a new swing. Yeah. What don't you, Dettles? Yeah. Swings are cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that looks like fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hi, Jake. Hi, hi Doodles. Hi. Oh, can I play, please? Of course you can, Dettles. <laughs> yeah, you can give oh. Jake a push. Yeah. I fancy a rest. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, push! Yeah. One, two, three, what? push! Wow. Yeah! Hey, oh, it's yours! Oh, oh, come on, Jakey. Oh. I want to make you touch the sky. No, I'm scared! Oh. Uh, oh, yes. no, no. Uh, push! Uh, let me oh. back, you should. Oh. Oh. oh, that's not fair. I'm enjoying my share. Yeah, but Jake isn't. Oh, oh. no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, thanks, Dettles. Hey. Oh, Isles, you pushed me too hard. It was scary. Oh, it's not her fault, Jake. What do you mean, Dettles? Well, <gasps> Isles is still young. Oh. She's never used the swings before, oh, yeah. so she doesn't know how to play on them. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, Dettles. Yep. What can we do to show her? Well, we'll have to show her how to play safe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> This one? Yeah, just the ticket, Jake. <laughs> uh, hey, Izzles, uh, do you want to push Teddy on the swing? Oh, goody! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, come on, Izzles. Oh, yep. Okay. okay. That's oh, right. Now yep. push. Uh, oh, uh, no, no, no. Um, oh, dear. Uh, not too high oh. now. Oh, oh, no, no. No, look out! <laughs> Oh, is Teddy okay, Jake? No, Dettles, he's hurt. Oh, oh, Jake could have been hurt like Teddy. Yeah. He could have fallen off, too. Yep. Oh. Want to try again, Dizzles? Oh, yes, please, Jakey. Yeah, and Teddy can watch, eh, Dizzles? Yes, indeed. Now, where shall I put him? Oh, um, oh right in front of the swing. Here? Yeah, Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, dear, I can see trouble. Off you go, Denizzles. All righty ho, Jakey. Uh -huh. uh, not too hard, remember, Bert. Yeah, I know that now, Jakey. All right. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, not okay. too close now. I know. Yeah, uh, watch the teddy. Right. I just, oh, I just, oh. Oh, you've done it again, Denizzles. Oh, oh, how did that happen? Oh, you wanted teddy in front of the swing. Uh, so? Well, in front is a dangerous place when the swing's moving. You can get kicked or, or hit by the swing. Yeah, and poor Teddy's hurt it again. He needs another bandage. Oh, I feel terrible, Doodles. You were in front of the swing, and this time you could have been kicked. Yeah, I could. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Isos? Oh, I, I wish I'd never touched that swing. Hey. I've hurt Teddy, yep. and worse still, I could have hurt you and Doodles. That's right, yes. That's because you didn't play safe, Isles. Mm. You must never push hard or, or go in front of the swing. I, I know that now, Doodles. Oh, well, uh, hey, hang on a minute. Uh, I think Teddy's better. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look, he's okay now. Oh. Yeah, then let's play again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, come on. <laughs> To play with your friends every day You want to make it last forever But keep in your head what the tweenies said Then we'll all play safe together Yes, we'll all play safe together Swings, 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 swings Swings really are the king Swings, 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 swings Please remember these important things Swings are safe when they are slow, so do take care how high you go. Don't stand, stand in front, front. yeah, that's, that's the, the trick. trick, then you won't get a nasty trick. It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play shape together.
Upset all your friends. Yes. They won't play with you now. No, no. Oh, I don't blame them, Doodles. I know how I should have played now. Yeah, yeah I can see now how I should have done it. Oh, uh, uh, after you, Fitz? Well, thanks, Milo. Um, uh, uh, whose turn is it? Well, I'm first, and um, then Jake, then yeah. you, Milo. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Come on, my yo! Oh, what are you waiting for, mate? Well, you've got to get out of the way, Jake, mate, before I can come down. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, that's how to play safe on the slide. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry, Max. Well, it's not me you should apologise to, Milo. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Fizz. Oh, I shouldn't have shoved you off the steps. It's rude and selfish. That's all right, Milo. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, sorry, Bella. Uh, I should have waited my turn at the top. Mm. It's dangerous to push in. Um, well, that's okay, Milo. Well, we. Oh, sorry, Jake. I should have waited until you got right off the end of the slide. Mm. You might have been hurt. Oh, that's all right, mate. Mm. So, uh, is Milo forgiven then? Mm. Yeah. Oh, and can he play on the slide again? <laughs> yeah. With the tweenies. Matches. Right, old then. Well, thanks for coming round so quickly. All right. Uh, yes, you've done a splendid job. Oh, bye bye. Yeah, bye then. <laughs>
Who was that, Max? Oh, it was the plumber, Jake. Oh, the plumber. Oh, goody, I love plums. Oh, they're so sweet and juicy. Oh, no, no, no. A plumber doesn't sell plums, Jake. Oh. A plumber mends taps and things like that. <gasps> has he put our new taps in? He has indeed, Jake. We've oh. got a nice new pair of shiny taps in the kitchen. Well, hey, I'm going to have a look at them. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, aren't they nice? <gasps> the old ones used to drip all the time. Drip, drip, drippy. <laughs> <gasps> oh, the plum man's left his mattress behind. <gasps> oh, it's a big box too. Must be loads of mattress inside. <laughs> oh, why don't you light a match, Jake? <gasps> but who are you? I'm Naughty Jake, who knows what you want to do. Oh. And you do want to light a match, don't you? Oh, um, yes, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Well, uh... There's nobody around to see you. Stop! Huh? Well, who are you? I'm Good Jake, who knows what you should do to be safe. Oh. And you must never play with matches. W uh, why not? Because they're dangerous. Are they? Oh, nonsense. Matches are fun. They make a lovely little flame oh. that looks really pretty. They make little flames to start with, but they can turn into this. Oh, that's a pretty flame. <laughs> oh no, the match has fallen on the train and oh dear, the flames, they're, oh, they're getting bigger. Oh no, look now, the whole house is on fire and there are the firefighters, oh dear. Oh, go away, you. Oh, don't be silly, Jake. Think of all the fun you're missing. Well, I'm not listening. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks for helping me. That's what I'm here for. So, uh, what should I do now? What do you think you should do now, Jake? Uh, tell a grown up I found these matches? Well done, Jake. Go and tell Max, and I'll see you another day. Bye-bye. Bye. You sure about these matches, Jake? Yes, Max, a great big box on the kitchen table. I never leave matches lying around. So how did they get there, eh? Uh, the plum man, Max. Oh, of course, the plumber must have used them for his work yeah. and then forgotten to take them with him. Now, you didn't touch them, did you, Jake? Oh, no, Max, I didn't. Oh, you've done the right thing telling me about them straight away. I know. A friend of mine said you must never play with matches. Your friend's quite right, Jake, my lad. Now, come on, let's put those matches somewhere safe, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Diddly die. Did you? There we go. Safely out of harm's way. Oh. I'll tell the plumber to pop in and collect them next time he's passing. Good. And I'll give you an extra treat with your juice. <gasps> for me, Max? Yes. Uh, what for? For being such a sensible, grown-up young man. Ha <laughs> I'm a grown-up man. Yeah. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever For keeping your head What the tweenies said Then we'll all play safe together Yes, yes we'll all play safe together Box of matches, 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 matches in a box A box of matches, matches, matches Talking matches in a box if you find matches lying around, go tell the grown-up for what you have found. Don't touch the matches, matches, get out of the way, and you'll be safe when the grown-up takes them away. It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play safe together. Max?
Uh, uh, sorry, Bella, no, I haven't. No. We're playing hide and seek, you see, oh. and I found Fizz every time. Uh, <laughs> Max, why is there a fridge in the garden? Uh, uh, oh, it, it's broken, Bella. Oh. Uh, we've got a new one in the kitchen, so this old one's being taken away. But the man can't collect it till tomorrow. Oh, I see. I must go and find Fizz. <laughs> oh, rightly, holy Bella. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, I need to get some tape to keep this door closed. Uh, no, but I don't want to leave this fridge here with that not playing so near. Um, oh, uh, Bella! Yes, Max? Oh, listen, stay in the playroom for now, uh, and don't let anyone into the garden. But why, Max? Well, I have to go and get something, and I, I don't want anyone playing with this fridge, all right? OK. I'll stay in here and make sure nobody goes outside. Right. My gran says old fridges are very dangerous. And your gran's quite correct, Bella. Rightly, Hoadley. That shall be a tick. OK. Ah! Oh, there's Fizz! <laughs> Found you, Fizz! Oh, Bella! Right, let's have one more game. Okay. And this time I'll find a really good hiding place. OK. One, two, miss you. Ninety-nine, hundred. Found you! That's not fair, Bella. I know. <laughs> Only joking. Off you go, Fizz. One, two... To be. Oh, where can I hide so Bella can't find me? Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if there was a fairy to ask? She'd know all the best places to hide. Just imagine that. Hello, Fizz. Hello. Who are you? I'm the fairy who's come to help you. Follow me and I'll find you the best place to hide. Oh, where's she gone? Oh, what's that noise? Oh, I think it's coming from this fridge. Oh, it's you. Oh, thanks for letting me out, Fizz. What were you doing in there? I was flying past when the wind blew me in. And slammed the door shut. So you weren't hiding then? Oh no, Fizz. You should never hide in a fridge. No. When the door shut, you can't see. Oh. You can't move. Mm. You can't breathe. Oh. Fridges, freezers, cupboards. You should never go in anywhere that shuts you in. Mm. You may never be able to get out. Oh, okay. 99 hands, Fizz. Coming with your nose. Oh, Bella's coming. Where should I hide? Behind the big tree. Oh, no. That's the best place. Oh. Thanks, Fairy! And thanks for warning me about the fridge! Bye! Bye! Oh, I can't find Fizz anywhere! Cooey! <laughs> Looks like I win after all! Oh, that's a really good place to hide! I didn't see you there! No. Oh, I'm glad you didn't hide in there, Fizz! Oops! I was supposed to tell you to keep out of the garden and don't go near the fridge. It's dangerous, you know. Yes, Bella. I do know. Uh, what's dangerous, eh? Hiding in the fridge, Max. Mm. Uh, well, well, that's what this tape's for. I'm going to make quite sure this door stays shut. Oh. Don't want anyone getting trapped in here now, do we, eh? No, Max. <laughs> we don't. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. For keeping your head, what the tweenies said, then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Cold and dark, dark and cold, that's inside a fridge. Cold and dark, dark and cold, don't go inside a fridge. You mustn't go there, it's just not safe, an old fridge is a dangerous Place. The door will shut, you can't get out, and no one can hear you, however loud you shout. It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play shade Safe with the tweenies. Lost. Oh, hello there. 
Now, it's Sophie and Toby's dad's birthday. So, we've come to this big garden centre because it's full of stuff that their dad would find useful. Because he loves gardening. Uh, the thing is, it's such a big shop, we need to know what to do if one of us gets lost or separated from the others. So, first we're going to have a chat and work out a plan before we start shopping. Right, the old lead. Now, if one of us gets lost, have any of you three ever got yourselves lost when you've been out? Oh, I have, Judy. Yeah, when I went to the zoo with my dad and my brother. We were looking at the monkeys. Oh, they were fabaroony. <laughs> I was copying them like my this. My <laughs> 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 around, I couldn't find my dad or brother. They must have gone to look at something else, but I didn't see them, Judy. Oh, and were you worried? A bit. But luckily, we'd worked out what to do if any of us got lost. Oh, and what was that? At the zoo, there was a rubbish bin in the shape of a penguin outside the gift shop. Oh. If we got lost, we had to go straight there and wait. Oh. So I asked the person that worked there to take me to the penguin bin, yeah. and it worked. Oh, no. My dad and my brother found me really fast. Oh, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Decide on a place to meet if you do get lost. Yeah. Go there and wait to be found. <laughs> No, I don't believe it. I was just looking at these plants, and now I can't find the others. Oh, good job we made a plan. Now, what was it? Um, oh, yes. Don't leave the shop, but go to the play area and wait. Right. Uh, um, oh, look, there's someone who works here. Uh, I'll ask him. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I've managed to get myself lost, but we made a plan to meet at the play area. Uh, do you think you could take me there to meet my friends? Uh, certainly, it's this way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, phew, there you are. Oh, look, I'm sorry I wandered off, but at least we've proved that having a plan is a good idea. <laughs> oh, I don't know what we'd have done if we hadn't made one. <laughs> right, off we go shopping again. My gran took me to the seaside once, Judy. Oh? But I was a bit naughty and ran off to play in the sand. And when I looked up, I couldn't see Gran anywhere. Oh, dear. And what did you do? I stood really still, looked all around and listened really hard. Mm. Then I heard Gran's voice shouting, Bella! Bella! So I stayed where I was and shouted back. And she found me, Judy. Oh, well done, Bella. Yeah. That's another good plan if you get lost. And how about you, Jake? Okay. Have you ever been lost or frightened when you couldn't find your mummy? Uh, no, Judy. I always hold my mummy's hand so I can't get lost. Oh, Jake, that is the best idea. Ah. Stay close to the person you're supposed to be with, or even better, hold hands. hands. Yeah! Like this! Yeah! <laughs> well, we haven't found a present for Mr. Cohen yet, but we have found out the best way not to get lost. Hey, and I must say, I feel a lot safer like this. <laughs> oh, look at those bird boxes. Oh, they were... Hey. Oh, yes. Uh, sorry. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenies said. Sometimes we get ourselves lost. Lost, lost, getting lost. What should we do if we're lost? First make a plan, choose a place you know. So if you get lost, you'll all know where to go. To stop getting lost, time after time. Stay holding hands and everything will be fine. It's fun to play with your friends every day. Safe with the Tweenies. Road safety. Hello there. 
Now, me and my two friends, Connor and Grace here, are off to the park for a play on the swings and a game of football. <laughs> now, it's a little bit of a walk and we do have to cross a road or two, so we'll have to be very careful and keep ourselves safe. Now, we all need to keep together, so you two stay on that side of the pavement and I'll walk on the road side, OK? <laughs> right then, let's go. Wow, Ian, Max is going to the park. Yeah, to play football with friends. Come on! Oh, they might have to cross a really busy road. Oh, I hope they remember to look properly before they cross the road. Mm. I'll tell you what, let's give them some help, just in case they forget. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I must say, I love getting out for a walk and a bit of exercise. So long as we look after ourselves, though, eh? <laughs> now then, we need to cross this road and go down there. So, uh, this way. Stop, Max. You must look around for a safe place to cross the busy road. Oh, look! There's a zebra crossing. Oh, we'll use that. At a zebra crossing, wait for the traffic to stop before you cross the road. And don't forget to look and listen all the time. There we are. All safely on the other side. Now, we've got a bit further to go and a few more roads to cross, so we must make sure we use the safest ways of crossing them, all right? right let's go, then. The best place is at a pelican crossing that has red man and green man lights. Push the button and wait. If you see a red man or a flashing green man, don't cross! When you see a green man that isn't flashing, it's safe to cross the road. Bridges, tunnels or subways are made for getting to the other side. <laughs> if you see a lollipop lady or a lollipop man, they can help you cross the road as well. Well, there's the park over on the other side of the road there. But I can't see a zebra crossing or a pelican crossing for us to use. And there's not a footbridge or a tunnel. Nor is there a lollipop lady or man to help us cross the road. So we'll have to be extra careful. Don't cross here between two parked cars, Max, because you can't see what's coming. We'll just walk down here because we'll get a better view of the traffic on the road. We'll stop here. A little bit back from the edge of the pavement. Now look in both directions. Listening all the time for any traffic. Right, if the road is clear, you can cross safely now. Keep on looking and listening all the time. And don't run. You don't want to fall over in the road, do you? Ah, there we are. All safely across. Hooray! They all got there safely. Well done, Max. He remembered everything. With a little bit of help from us. Oh, I bet they have a brilliant time playing football. <laughs> yeah! It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the Queenie said. Roads, roads, today it's all about roads. Roads, 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 what should we know about roads? You could cross the road and stay as safe as can be. Listen with your ears, use your eyes to see. All hold hands and when the cars have gone, you can safely cross. Just walk, don't run. It's fun to play.
unexpected will that dog gave you a nasty bite. Mm. And sit and stay. That's it. Aha, <laughs> good doggy. <laughs> now, I want you to follow me now. Come along. Right, let's go and see what Doodles and Dizzles are doing. <laughs> That's it. This way. <laughs> Hey, Azuz, what's happened to your ear? Oh, well, Max took us for a walk in the park, and we saw this dog. Yes. We hadn't met him before, oh. so I thought I'd rush up and say hello. But he didn't like me rushing up to him. No, oh, he didn't. And he bit my ear. Oh, but uh. why would Dendy One bite you, Azuz? I don't know. Oh. Well, Jake, dogs are just like people. They need to be treated kindly and gently. Right. Some dogs are frightened by people they don't know. Mm. Ah. Come on, let's leave his old to sleep for a bit. Okay. That's right now. Uh, you sit down there, Jake. Okay, right. Hey, Jake, you like a new dog? Yeah, he's great. Uh, <laughs> does he like to be stroked? Oh, yeah, he loves to be stroked a lot. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you see, Jakey, not all dogs like to be played with or stroked. Oh. Some dogs get frightened if you rush up to them, like the dog that Isles met. Oh. It's not very nice being frightened. Oh. Which is why it's important to let dogs know you're their friend. friend. If dogs get frightened by you, they might bite, and that can really hurt. So before you go up to a dog, you have to make sure that it's okay. So uh, how do you know if the dog's friendly, Daddles? Well, the best thing to do is to ask the owner if you can stroke their dog. Oh. The owner will tell you whether their dog likes being stroked. Okay, ask the owner. Yep. But what then? Then you show the dog the back of your hand, like this. <laughs> so the dog doesn't feel scared, oh. and let it come to you. Right. Yeah, we've got good noses, you know, <laughs> and we can smell you're our friend. <laughs> <laughs> so I let Doggy smell me, so he knows I'm his friend. That's right. Oh. And then you can stroke the dog gently. Oh. Don't make a loud noise or grab his fur, because he won't like like that. No. You don't want to frighten him. Oh, no. Remember, you want to let him know you're his friend. So, I stroke him gently because I want to let him know I'm his friend. Yep. Okay, right. You pretend this is your doggy, Daddles, and I'll pretend I want to stroke him. Okay, <laughs> I... Here's my dog. <laughs> ah, and I'm taking him for a walk in the park. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. <laughs> okay, your turn, Jakey. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me? Yes? Uh, can I stroke your doggy, please? Oh, yes, go ahead. Oh. My dog loves being stroked. Oh, right. Now, I'll show you my hand because you like to smell the time your friend. That's right. That's it. <laughs> then I stroke you gently along yep. your back from head to tail. Great. That's it, Jakey. Hooray. You've got it. Hey, I wonder how Izzles is feeling now. Oh. Yes, yeah, come on. <laughs> Hi, Rizzles. How are you oh. feeling? Oh, uh, I'm okay, Jakey. My ear's still a bit sore, oh. but I'll be okay. I'm going to be much more careful now when I meet a new dog. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Rizzles. Mm -hmm. Be careful when you meet a dog you don't know. Yep. Yes. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenies said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Dogs, 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 dogs. We're talking today about dogs. Dogs, 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 dogs. What can we say about dogs? Ask the dog's owner before you get near. Let him sniff your hand, so there's nothing to fear. If it's cool to stroke him, then do it right. From his head to his tail, then that doggy <laughs> won't bite. It's fun to play with your friend every day. And we'll all play shape together. Safe with the tweenies. Candles. Happy birthday, dear Cheesy. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Oh, you have to blow the candles out now, Judy. Oh, all right. 
Here goes. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Don't forget your present, Judy. Oh. Yeah, come on, open it. Open it, Judy. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I wonder what it can be. Do you like my card? Oh, it's lovely, Bella. I made oh. it with my grand. Oh. oh, what a feberoony present. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is it, Judy? Oh, actually, um, it's a scented candle that makes a smell when you light it. Oh. Oh. Yes. Mm, that smells nice. Mm. Oh, I'll light it a little later. Oh. Now, who would like some cake? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, I'll go and get a knife and some plates. Oh, mm. yeah. Hey, I love blowing out the candles when it's my birthday. Mm, me too. I like blowing mine out over and over again. Oh. Hey, look, that candle on the cake is still burning. Oh. Hey, come on, let's blow it out. <laughs> no, no, come back, Jake. I've just had the best idea ever. Oh. Let's light this big one mm -hmm. and each have a turn blowing it out. Oh. I don't think we should, Bella. That's Judy's birthday present. Oh. I know, Fizz, but she's going to light it later anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And after we've all had a turn, well, we can leave it burning so the smell is a surprise for Judy yeah. when she gets back. Oh, yeah, I want to smell it too. Oh, and I want to smell it. All right, then. Hooray! Yeah. Now, if we take this big candle yeah. and put it next to the little one... Yeah. Oh, and oh, um, it's a bit difficult because oh. I can't get the fire onto the big candle. Oh, oh come on, Bella. Oh. I want to blow the candle out. Yeah, 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 give it here, Bella. Let me try. Okay. Right. Uh, Be careful, Milo. Yeah. Oh, quickly, Milo. I can't wait. Milo! Uh, put that down at once. Uh, <sighs> Oh. What do you think you're all doing? You know you mustn't play around with candles. Well, I was only... Uh, well, we was going to... Uh, well, I... Oh, sorry. We wanted to blow a candle out, Judy. Yeah, my mum yeah. lets me blow my brothers out on his birthday, Judy. Does yes, she? but I'll bet she doesn't let you light them yourself, though, does she, Milo? Um, no, Judy. No. Now, you must never mess around with fire or with things like candles. Oh. They are very dangerous. Oh. And you must certainly never, ever try to light candles on your own. Oh. You could burn yourselves oh. or hurt someone else. Oh. Or you could very easily start a bigger fire. Oh. Sorry, Judy. Yeah. But we do know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm partly to blame myself for not making sure all the candles on the cake had gone out properly. I should have taken them off and put them safely away. So, we've all learnt a bit of a lesson today, I hope. Uh, yes, yes, Judy! Right. So shall I light my birthday present then? Oh, yes, yes, yes! All right. Here goes. Oh. 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 oh, it smells lovely! Oh, it's a gorgeous present. Thank you all. Oh. Oh, it was Max's idea, Judy. He brought it in for us to give to you. Oh. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd want to see it. You yeah, come on, let's get him. Yeah! Oh, wait a minute. There's one more thing you must never do with candles, isn't there? What's that, Judy? It's the lesson that I've learned today, remember? You must never go off and leave them still burning. Oh. Always make sure an adult checks they're out before you go. Oh. So, who's going to blow this one out? Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Shining light. What have we learned about candles? A candle flame burns hot and bright. But don't touch that flame, it's a dangerous light. Birthday candles are fun to blow out. But make sure an adult is always about. It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play safe together. Hey, Milo, that should do. That should be perfect for your game. That's a fantastic costume.
Gosh, Jim, what's it for, Matt? Uh, you'll see. We're going to play a special game this afternoon. It's oh. Milo's idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I went to see a fire station at the weekend, and we played this flabberoony game. Yeah. It was about how dangerous fire can be and what to do if you find one. Ooh. And I got this special badge. Look. <gasps> oh, wow. Well, yes. yes. Yeah, so today I thought we could play the same game. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Come and sit down, and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Milo's going to pretend that he's a fire. Oh. We're going to pretend that he's very hot and smoky, so we don't want to go near him. No. no. So we need to have a plan so that we can all get away from the fire as quickly as possible. Ooh. Now, what should we do? I don't know. We could go out into the garden. Well, yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. And what should you do once you're out in the garden? Call for help. Oh, yes, yes, you could shout for help, yeah. but the most important thing is not to go back into the house. No. Fire is very hot and very dangerous. Oh, yes. We let the firefighters put the fire out, mm. uh, and we never go back inside until a firefighter tells us it's safe. Mm. OK, are you ready to play Milo's game? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. But first, what have we to remember? Get outside, away from Milo! Uh, uh, I mean, the fire, and call for help! And yeah. never go back to get something! Well no. done! Right, I'll go into the garden. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to get the fire engine so I'm ready for fiery Milo. OK, Jake, but remember what Max told us? Yes, yes. I remember that. <laughs> Let's start the game! Uh, I am fire! <sighs> I'm really hot and smoky and I'll burn things! Oh, no! Fire! Come on, Bella! Let's go! Yeah, chop, chop, Fizz. Let's go and tell Max. <laughs> yes, I'll just pick up Lammy on my way. No, Fizz, remember what Max said. We must get out quick. No time for getting toys. Yes, you're right. Let's get out! Help! There's a fire! Call the fire brigade! <laughs> right. Um, I'll go and find Jake now. <laughs> oh, where can he be? Um, uh, uh, aha! I found someone trying to hide from me! Oh, no! I thought I was safe behind here. Oh, you can't hide from fire or smoke. It'll always find you! Oh, <laughs> Right, Dragon, i better go now. Fiery Milo is around and I mustn't stay inside. Fire! Crackle burn! <gasps> oh, no, it's Fiery Milo! Oh. Help! Oh, I can't get out! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> smoke! <laughs> I'll use this to stop the smoke coming in. Oh, good thinking, Jakey. Come on, i better call the others for help. Help! 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 Oh, there's a fire and I can't get out! Don't worry, the firefighters are here! Hooray! Milo. Oh, now, how do they all do, eh? Well, Bella and Fizz didn't come near me. They got outside and told you, Max. Yeah. Yeah, but I wanted to go and get Lammy. But Bella said we must get out and stay out. Yeah, so you remembered what to do. No. So you get a special badge. Uh, oh, thanks, thanks, Milo. Milo. Oh, but Ooh. Izzles, you hid from fire and smoke. Yes. I thought that if I hid, you wouldn't find me. But you did. Uh, the fire yeah. can go everywhere, Izzles. Mm, I know yeah. that now. Uh, oh, Jakey. Yeah? When you got stuck in the house, you did the right thing. Did I? Yeah, you closed the door to keep the fire out. And you blocked up the gap at the what? bottom to keep the smoke out. Ah. Yeah, smoke from a fire is dangerous. That's yes. right, yeah. yeah. Uh, you shouted for help until it came. Yes, yes, so me. I think you should have a special badge too, because you did so well. Oh, thanks. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. And keep in your head. What the tweenies said Then we'll all play shape together Yes, we'll all play shape together Fire, 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 fire We're talking today about fire Fire, 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 fire What can we say about fire? If a fire breaks out, there are things you should know. Get out of the house, don't hide, just go. If you're stuck in the house and you can't get out, just close the door, find the window, and shout! It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play shapes together. Safe with the tweenies, travelling by train. 
Hey, hey, hey! What do you call a train that eats toffees? Um, that doesn't make sense, Milo. Oh, yeah. Trains don't eat toffee. Oh, that's yeah. a joke, Bella. Uh, go on then, Milo. What <laughs> do you call a train that eats toffees? <laughs> a choo-choo train. <laughs> <laughs> I can get it. Toffees, Jakey. A choo-choo... Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Max is travelling by train today. He's taking Samuel and Laura to visit their auntie. Oh. Hope he remembers to travel safely, Bella. Mm. Like he taught us to yeah. do. <gasps> Listen, I've had a brilliant idea. What's that, my dear? Well, we've all been shown how to travel safely on a train, haven't yeah. we? Yes. That's right. Max showed us a video. Yeah, but does Max remember himself? Mm. Now, I, I know. We could play a game, oh. seeing if Max knows all the same things as we do. Oh, I like oh. that idea. Me too. Cool. Rightly, Holdley. Here we are, then. We're on the station platform, waiting for the train. <laughs> oh, you OK, Samuel? Oh, <laughs> and how about you, Laura? Oh, dearie me. Whatever's the matter? Oh, I see. You've forgotten Dolly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, you can't run and fetch her. No, no, stay holding hands, Laura. We'll come and get her with you. All right? Right, Milo. Yep, one point to Max. You must always hold hands on the platform. <whistles> oh, the train should be here any minute now. Oh, yes, here it comes. Oh, no, no, sorry, Samuel. No, I know you want to see the train coming, but you mustn't go near the edge of the platform. You see, the yellow line is there to stop us from getting too close to moving trains. So, you must always wait behind the line. Another point to Max, Jakey. That's right, Fizzy. When you're on the platform, you mustn't go near the hedge. The edge, Jake. That's what I said. <laughs> now then, the train has arrived and we're all ready to get on board. But hang on a minute. Let the other passengers get off first. Right. And it's our turn now. Oh, but mind the gap between the train and the platform. I'll tell you what, I'll lift you. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, up. <laughs> now you, Samuel. Right. One, two, three, up. <laughs> and now my turn. Over we go. <laughs> and I'll press the button to close the doors safely. Oh, Max has done well so far, hasn't he? Wonder if he'll remember the last bit. Was that busy? You know, about sitting still on the train. Mm. Oh. oh, isn't this nice, eh? Sitting on the train, looking out of the window at everything flashing by. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you off to, Samuel? Look, back you come, my lad. That's right. Now, you must never run up and down the corridor of a train. You see, trains sway about more than you think, and you could fall over and hurt yourself, or the other passengers. I tell you what, we could play a game. <laughs> How about this one? Um, uh, I spy with my little eye. Hooray! Uh -huh. Yeah, well done, Max. You know everything we know about travelling safely on the train. Yeah, he's been well trained. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenie said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Trains, 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 trains. We've got trains on our brains. Uh -oh. Trains, 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 trains. Travel safely on the trains. Hold hands on the platform, then you'll be fine. And always stand back from the long yellow line. And when you're in the carriage, promise you will. Look out of the window and sit really still. <laughs> it's fun to play with your friends every day.
Girls. This, I Might think, goes somewhere. What's going on? Well, we're having a disco, Bella. A disco day? Yes. Have you told Max and Judy? Oh, Judy isn't here today, Bella. And Max has had an emergency. There's a flood in the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. So we thought we'd be good and set the disco up ourselves. Yes. This is so dangerous. Let's go. Um, what are you doing, Jay? Well, um, I don't know where to put this plug. Um, uh, oh, oh, hang on. Yes, I do. In that thingy on the wall with the holes in it. Hey, Jay, God. wait. That's the electric socket, Jakey. You shouldn't go near it. Shouldn't I? No. Oh. This comes through here, so that I go through there. What are you doing, Fizz? Well, what does it look like, Bella? I'm untangling these electric cables. Fizz? What? Uh, oh, hi, Bella. I fancy helping me. What are you trying to do, Milo? Well, I want to get these disco lights working, but I don't know which is the right plug. Oh, oh well, guess I'll have to try them all, one by one. But, Milo, that means you'll have to turn the power on and off. <sighs> My gran has told me never to do any of these things. Max will be so angry. I've got to stop them. But how? <coughs> if I just go in there and tell them to stop, they won't take any notice of me. They'll say I'm just being bossy. So how can I make them take notice of me? Oh, I wish my gran was here. What would she say? <laughs> Tell them to stop. But, Gran, I've tried to. They won't listen. Then find some way to make them listen. How am I going to do that, Gran? Bit of dressing up, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Bye. Yes, thanks, Gran. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> stop! Huh? Hey, I'm Bella's Gran, Ooh. and I'm some say to you. Hey, what's she doing here? Oh, Bella must have fetched her. Ooh. Why are you going to put this plug in an electric socket? Well, uh, yes, Granny. Well, you shouldn't. <gasps> it's dangerous. Oh, uh, sorry, Granny. And have you been touching these cables? Well, I untangled them, Granny. Well, you shouldn't. Oh. Only grown-ups should touch electric wires. Oh, I'm very sorry, Granny. And you. Were you going to Turn on the power to those lights? Yes, yeah, easy, Granny. You oh. just press the switch here and... Don't argue, young man. You shouldn't. Oh. Electric sockets should never be used by children. Oh, oh, sorry, Granny. Well, I hope you've all learned your lesson. Oh. Anything electrical should be left alone. Bye. Bye, Bye Granny. Granny. Oh, so... oh, no. Oh, that's not Bella's Granny. Oh, well, what's going on here, eh? Oh, Bella tricky to do us, Max. Eh? Yes, she dressed up like her granny. Oh, yeah. why did you do that, Bella? Well, they were all playing with dangerous electrical things, Max. Uh, what were you three thinking of? Oh. Well, we only wanted a disco, Max. Yeah. Well, then yeah. you should have waited a while, Milo. A grown-up's never far away. Oh. Oh, sorry, Max. Oh, well, yeah. uh, yes, sorry, Max. Sorry, right, well, that's yeah. sorted, thanks to Bella. Yeah. Now, I'll get this disco set up. <laughs> What can we say about these? Electric sockets, wires and plugs Listen to what we say, please Don't switch on sockets, don't play with wires They're dangerous things, they can cause fires The power inside them is so very strong You must never touch them To play with them, or oh, it's wrong It's fun to play with your friends every day With the tweenies. Knives! 
Then a young knight called Arthur came oh. riding by. <laughs> he had left his sword at home, so... I know. I'll borrow this one instead. Hmm. Arthur stepped up to the stone and pulled out the sword easily. <laughs> Sire, you are the King of England. Yeah, King Arthur Rooney! <laughs> Everyone, that was splendid. Yes, uh, bravo, bravo. <laughs> now, shall we all have our picnic in the garden? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. I'm back from the dentist. Hey. Oh, where is everyone? Oh, maybe they're outside. Yes. Uh, 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 oh, hi, Jake, mate. Uh, I thought I heard you come in. Oh, what's going on, Milo? Is everyone in the garden? Yeah, yeah. We're just finishing a picnic. Oh, and why are you all dressed up like that? Oh, Jakey, we put on a play too. Uh, I was brave King Arthur. Oh, it's not fair. I missed all the fun. Oh, don't worry, the boy. Uh, Judy saved you some sandwiches and we're going to put the play on again just for you. <gasps> really? What's it about? Oh, come on, I'll show you. <laughs> now, what's this, mate? Right. <laughs> we're knights from the olden days. Knights. It's our job to fight monsters. <gasps> Watch <laughs> me do battle with this scary. One-legged creature with oh. loads of eyes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but can I have a go, Milo? Of course you can, Jake. Oh, great. Just get yourself a sword. Oh no, but uh, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, oh, but I couldn't find one in the toy box. Uh, can't I borrow yours? Oh, sorry, mate. No, no. This sword can only be used by the true King Arthur, oh. and that's me. <laughs> well, maybe oh. Max can help me. Uh, get back! Get back, you brute! Yeah, yeah. Max, Maxie, where are you? Oh, well, he's not here. Oh, well. Now, what would make a good pretend sword? Uh, oh, this fly ring pan's got a handle. Oh, but it's too big. Uh, oh, what about this wooden spoon? Oh, it's the right size. Oh, but it's the wrong shape. Oh, what else is there? Uh, <gasps> well, hey, look at this, a big knife. Aha! It's the right size, the right shape. Oh, and it's all shiny, like a real sword. <gasps> Just what I want. Harishki! What <laughs> are you doing, my lad? I'm fighting this monster. Oh. Is that who you were talking to just now? Uh, oh, no, no, Jake's here. He's looking for a sword to help me. Hi. Uh, Jake! Jake! Oh, oh, no, Jake, Jake. What's the matter? Oh. What have I done? What are you doing, Jake? Huh? Put the knife down. Well, that's I... not a toy. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, sorry I was naughty, Judy. Oh, you weren't naughty, Jake. You didn't know it was wrong to play with knives. Well, I only touched it the wooden handle a bit. Oh, that was lucky. Well, the shiny part is very sharp. Oh. You can easily cut yourself, you know, especially if you run around with it. Yeah, and that would hurt, wouldn't it? It would hurt an awful lot, Jake, and could mean you have to go to hospital. <gasps> Oh, right. Mistake. I'll put it back in here out of harm's way. Well, I promise never to touch a knife again, Judy. <laughs> Good boy, Jake. Uh, uh, here, Jake. Uh, you can have my sword now. Uh, I don't think King Arthur needs one. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Milo. Uh, you can have it, but I'll still be the king. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Wish fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenies said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Knives, 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 knives. It's how to be safe around knives. Knives, 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 knives. Be safe for the rest of your lives. Knives are all shiny, they look really cool. But don't be mistaken, don't you be fooled. Knives are sharp and not for play. Leave them alone and you'll be okay. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together.
safe with the tweenies. Pond. Hello there. I've come out with my friends Maya and Samuel today to feed the docks at the big pond that's in this park. <laughs> We've got some bread for them and it's in this bag here. <laughs> and then, a little bit later, we're going to go to their house because they've got a small pond in their back garden that's got some really pretty goldfish in it. Oh, <laughs> we're really looking forward to that, aren't we, eh? <laughs> Come on then, it's this way. Well, here we are at the pond, and over there are some of the docks that live here. <laughs> Let's see if they'd like some bread, shall we? <laughs> now, we'll just break it into smaller pieces so it's easier for them to eat. <laughs> oh, now, there are some very important things that we have to remember to do when we're by a pond so that we stay safe. And that is not to go too near the edge in case we tumble into the water. Also, the sides of a pond like this can get a bit wet and slippery. So it's a very good idea not to run around by it so we don't slip over and end up in the water. <laughs> so, come on, let's throw some bread in, eh? <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> oh, now we don't need to throw it too hard in case we lose our balance and fall in. All well, the docks will come and get the bread if they want it. <laughs> it's, it's quite difficult to tell how deep the water is, isn't it, eh? Yeah. That's another good reason for making sure we stand back from the edge and don't fall in. <laughs> it's probably deeper than we think. Oh, well, the docks don't seem to mind, though, do they? <laughs> well, that's all the bread gone. Oh, phew, feeding docks is thirsty work, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Luckily, I brought some juice for us to drink. Hooray! <laughs> oh, now, while we walk to Meyer and Samuel's house, why don't you try and remember the important things that you have to do to keep yourself safe by a pond like this one, eh? <laughs> we'll see you a bit later. Come on, then. I remember one of those. You mustn't stand too close to the edge of the pond. Yeah, that's right. Or you might fall in the water. Mm. Yeah, or, or you might lose your balance and fall in, yeah. especially if you throw the bread too hard for the ducks. <laughs> yeah, the duckies will get the bread if they're hungry, though. Yeah. And you mustn't run around by the pond either, because it can be a bit slippery on the sides. Mm. You could slip over and fall in. Yes, and the water might be deeper than you think it is. So don't run around and stand, stand back from the edge. Now, there is one more thing. You mustn't drink the pond water. <laughs> Juice is much nicer. Well, we've arrived at Maya and Samuel's home now, and this is their pond. Now, there should be some brightly coloured fish in this pond, but we need to make sure we do the same as we did at the big pond, and stand back from the edge. Because a small pond can be just as dangerous as a large one if you fall in. And that's why this one is securely covered with this grid. Well, let's have a go at feeding the fish now. Oh, but don't forget the golden rule to stand back from the edge. Don't forget, stand back from the edge. Well, we have to go now, but we're just going to have a little look around this pond to see what else Maya and Samuel have in it. <laughs> but we'll be making sure that we do the same as we did at the big pond in the park, so we can enjoy ourselves and stay safe at both. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. For keeping your head, what the tweenies said. And we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Pond, 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 pond. What should we do near a pond? Stay safe near a pond. A pond is a really great place to visit. You must be careful or you may fall in it. Stand back from the edge. That's a golden rule. It could be deep. It's not a paddling pool. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together.
the trainees. Scissors. There they are. A crown fit for a prince. Ah, oh, thank you, Max. You're very welcome, Prince Jake. <laughs> I'll just put these scissors away. And now, uh, I think I'll go and get your snack and drink ready, Jake, while you decorate it. Oh, right then. No, I right. Oh, I think I'll use these crayons. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jakey. Oh, hi, Azuz. Uh, I'm Prince Jakey today. Oh. Yeah. Uh, see, I've got a crowny hat. Yeah. Max cutted it with his scissors. Mm. And I'm making it all coloured in with these crayons. Oh. Well, I wish I could make a crown. I could be Princess Eagles, but I can't use crayons or scissors. Oh, poor Izzles. Izzles, I'll make you a crowny hat just like mine. Oh, thank you, Jakey. Aha. Right, well, I have to put the paper round in your head. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, let's see now. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, these are too tiny for this great big paper. Oh, dear. But hang on a minute. Right. right. Oh, I'm going to get a crown. <laughs> Ha-ha! Here we are! Yes! Uh, sorry, Azores, uh, these were too small. Oh, okay. I had to get these bigger ones. Oh, good. Right now. Now, I cut here. Yep. And here. Yep. Oh, and along oh, here. Oh, that tickles, and go. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Is it okay? Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's fine, fine. Oh, uh, good. And, uh, oh, no, and I broke it. Mm. Oh, it's all right. I'll get some more paper. Yep. Okay. Hello, Jakey. Oh, hi, Dados. I can't stop now. I'm a very busy boy. I've got to cut this paper into a crowny hat for Rizzles. Yeah, uh, bye. Hey, oh, no, Jake, I don't think he should... Oh, dear. He's running about with those scissors in his hands. That's dangerous, you know. Right then. Now I'll cut the crowny shape. Uh, oh, no. Oh, these aren't cutting in the same ziggy-zaggy way like when Max did it. Oh, I must have the wrong scissors. Oh. Hey, hey, Jake, listen. I don't think you should... Uh, I've got the wrong scissors, to do nope. Back in a minute. Hey. Making the crowny hat for the doggies. Oh, the oh, oh, careful, Jake. Oh, sorry, Max. I had to uh, run... Jake, why are you running around carrying those scissors? I'll have those, I think. No, I was just... Uh, when I... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you, Jakey. What? You shouldn't run about with scissors. Mm, I oh. think we'd better have a little talk about scissors, Jake. What? I did try to tell him, didn't I? <laughs> well, Jake, scissors are very useful things, but they can be very dangerous as well. Huh. They need to be sharp enough to cut the paper, but that also means they can cut other things like fur. Oh, uh, yes. Well, that's mine! Or even cut <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm just hurt. So, yeah. Jake, what must you never do with scissors? Uh, run about with them, Max. That's right, Jake. Yeah. You could fall over and, and hurt yourself on them. <laughs> oh! You could hurt somebody else if you're not careful. Yes. Oh, sorry, Max. I was making a crowny hat for Rizzles over there on the beans bag. I know, Jake, mm, and that yes. was very nice of you. But listen, it would be a lot better to do that kind of thing here on the table mm. and only do the cutting with the scissors when a grown-up is with you. Mm. Yeah, that's the safest idea, I think. Mm. But if you have to take scissors to another place, can you remember how you should carry them safely? Uh, like this, Max. Uh, and don't run at walk. <laughs> That's the way, Jake. Well done. Well, I do know that, Max. I just forgot it. All right, then, Jake. But you must remember to be safe with scissors. Mm. Now, let me help you with that crown for Rizzles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm me, I'm me. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the dream is said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Scissors, 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 scissors. We have to be careful with scissors. Yes. Yeah. Scissors, 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 scissors. What can we say about scissors? Use them safely in a proper place. Don't wave them around near anyone's face. Cutting and sticking should be lots of fun. When you carry scissors, better walk. Don't run. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play shape together.
Be safe with the tweenies. River. Oh, hello. I've come out today with Jake and Fiona to get a bit of exercise and to go for a little stroll along this river. <laughs> now, we must make sure, of course, that we're very careful when we're by the river, as we should be if we're near any water, like a pond or a canal or at the seaside. And then we can enjoy ourselves and stay safe at the same time. So, let's go, shall we? That's a nice thing to do. Go for a walk along the river with your friends. Yes! So long as you look out for the water and stay away from the edge, mm, then you won't fall in the river. And it can be really difficult to get out of the water. Do you know why, Fizz? Mm, um... I'll tell you. Wet clothes are much heavier than dry clothes, so it's harder to climb out, you see. Mm, I knew that. Oh, it's quite handy having this path to walk on, isn't it? <laughs> now, if we walk, not run, and stay on the path properly, then we should be perfectly safe and not find ourselves going too close to the water's edge. Oh, my word! He's getting a bit more exercise than we are, eh? <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's a good job we weren't running around this bend, because we probably wouldn't have seen this chap sitting here fishing. Yeah, we might have fallen over his equipment and hurt ourselves, or even ended up in the water. That takes me fishing. We have to take loads of stuff. I hope you don't leave it in the way for other people to fall over, Milo. Oh, no, Bella. We're always really careful. If ever I go too close to the edge, my dad tells me off and he says he doesn't want to have to fish me out. <laughs> fish me out. <laughs> right. Here we are on a bridge over the river and we found some sticks. <laughs> and we're going to play a game called... Poo sticks. <laughs> what we do is drop our sticks in the water on this side of the bridge and then go to the other side and watch. The person whose stick we see first floating out from under the bridge is the winner. But we have to be sensible. Now, I'll drop the sticks in, so give them to me. There they are. That's right. Thank you. Right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, come on. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, look, there's the first one. Now, who's just that? Oh, it's yours. Oh, well done. You're the winner. <laughs> oh, you know, watching those sticks racing along the water shows us that the river is moving quite fast, really. It's going in that direction all the way to the sea. Yeah. So that's another good reason for not falling in, isn't it? You might get taken along by the water like one of those sticks. Well, I tell you something else, my feet are pretty hot with all this walking. I'd really like to take my shoes and socks off and paddle in the water to cool them down a bit, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, poor Max. He does look a bit hot. Shame he can't put his feet in the water and go for a paddle. Yeah, I know, Fizz, but it's best not to. There might be something sharp in there that might hurt his feet. Oh. Or he could slip and go under the water. Mm. Or he might whoosh away like a poo sticky. <laughs> Well, that's the end of our walk today, and I don't know about you two, but I thought it was a grand trip. And because we took care and were sensible, we finished it all safe and sound. <laughs> uh, we better be off, as Doodles will be wanting his walk. <laughs> oh, my poor feet. <laughs> oh, well, bye-bye for now. <laughs> Fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenies said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. River, 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 river. We're walking today by a river. Not run. Stand back from the edge and be in no doubt. If you fall in the water, it's hard to get out. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together. Tweenie!
Ladies, dialing nine nine nine. Nina, 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 here I am, Max. Hello, hello, Jake. <laughs> I'm Firefighter Jake, and I've come to put out the fire. Oh, yes, and what fire is that, Jake? What's the one here in the playhouse, Max? What fire? Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Uh -huh. Oh, Fire Rooney! Oh, you'll need some help from Police Officer Milo. Max is in danger. Uh, oh. Don't panic. <laughs> Dr. Fizz is here. And I've got my doctor's bag in case anybody gets hurt oh. and needs a plaster or something. <laughs> Stand back! Swish! Swish! Oh. Ha -ha. Oh, a police officer, Milo. Huh? You stop the traffic and keep the people back while I put this nasty fire out quickity quickity. Okay, firefighter Jake! Stand back, everybody! Over there! Over right. there! Yep! Swish! Swish! Ha -ha. Oh. There! The flames are all gone! Now let's oh. rescue Maxi and see if he's alright! Oh, well, I'm fine, <laughs> thanks to all of your quick things. Thinking and rescuing, yeah. yeah. You know, you're just the sort of people I'd want if there was a real emergency. Thank you, sir. Oh, well, that's probably Bella. Yes, her mum phoned earlier today to say she'd be coming in a bit late. Oh. Hi, everybody! Oh, Hi, Bella. Hello, Bella. Hey, we've been playing emergencies. Yeah, yeah, the police I've had a real emergency, Max. <gasps> you did? Uh, when was this, Bella? Yesterday. Come on, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> So what happened? Well, I was staying at my grand's last night, yeah. and guess what? what? She slipped over and hurt her leg, just here. Oh. She was lying on the floor, and, um, she couldn't get up. Oh, oh Gran! So what did you do, Bella? Gran mm. told me to go to the telephone, which was downstairs, mm. and ring 999, mm. which I did. Oh, well done, Bella. Oh. And then what did you do? Well, a lady asked me some questions, mm. and then some men in an ambulance came and took us oh. to the hospital. Oh. They looked after my gran there, mm. and I waited yeah. till my mum came. Gran has to stay in hospital, but she'll be better soon. Oh, yes. I'm sure she will, Bella. And well done for being brave and sensible. Thank That's you. That's exactly the right thing to do in a real emergency. I know. Yes. Uh, has anyone else ever had to ring 999 on um, the telephone? Uh, oh. no, no, I haven't. Oh, well, oh, come on, everybody. Let's go over there and I'll explain, eh? Mm. <laughs> Now then, if somebody really has been hurt, yeah. you should always tell a grown-up. Yes. But if you can't find one and it's a real emergency, really? just push the number nine button on the telephone three times oh. and wait for someone to answer. Oh. Mm. Now, does anyone apart from Bella know which one is the number nine button? No, I do, Max. Uh, it's that one there. Uh, yes. Oh, well done, yes. Fizz. Yes. <laughs> so you just press nine, nine, nine? Oh. Yeah. Yes, Milo. Look, but only if it's a real emergency. And then someone will ask you what the problem is and send the right sort of emergency people to help. Mm. Now, can anybody think of any other times when we might need to ring 999? Um, uh -huh. if you or Judy hurt yourselves, like my grandma. Well, yes. yes, fella. Or if any of you did, too. Uh, what else? Um... Oh, oh, and if the TV broke down and we wanted to watch it? No, absolutely no. not, Milo. Now, that kind of thing is not an emergency. Mm. An emergency is when there's something dangerous happening or someone's been hurt. Yes. Now, it's always best to find a grown-up first and let them ring 999. But if you're on your own and there isn't another grown-up near... Like at my grand's house, Max. Well, that's right, Bella, just like that. Yeah. Well, then you must ring 999 yourself and talk to the person on the phone and they'll help you. Right. Yeah! yeah. 999! Someone is hurt or really unwell, and you need some help and a person to tell. Dial 999, that's the thing to do, and tell someone, so they can help you. It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play shades together.
Be safe with the tweenies. Railway lines. Oh, hello there. Oh, dear. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Oh, these steps make me puff. Oh, still, I'm nearly at the top now. Thank goodness. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, that's it. And now you can see where I am. I'm on a railway bridge. And there should be a train along any minute. <laughs> oh, look! Here it is now! <laughs> oh, doesn't it go fast and make a lot of noise, eh? Oh, yes, indeed. Trains are big and powerful things if you get close to them. The runaway train came down the track and she blew. Woo, woo! The runaway train came down the track and she blew. Woo, woo! That's enough! Stop! I've only done one woo woo. I just had the best idea ever. Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, Milo, instead of singing the runaway train, why don't we make up a train song of our own? Yeah. Why? Look, Max is showing us how to be safe by the railway, so our song could be all about what he tells us. Oh. Now then, here we are beside the railway track. Now, this fence is here for a reason, to keep people off the track. Now, promise me, you will never, ever go on the railway track. Not to get your ball back, or for a shortcut, or even for a game. It's a very dangerous place. If you were on the track and the train came by as fast as that, you wouldn't have time to see it, and the train wouldn't have time to stop. So, what have you got so far? Right. Never go on the railway line. Trains are coming all the time. Well, that's really good, then. Oh, yeah. I got it, I got it. Speeding along from town to town, you won't see him coming and they'll knock you down! That's great, Milo. Oh, Brilliant, Milo. Uh, thank you. I... Thank you. Now, sometimes we do need to get to the other side of the railway. So let's see where you can cross the railway line quite safely, eh? Hey? Oh, there's a railway bridge, like the one I used. There's a level crossing, but you need to be careful here because cars use it too. And in some places, there's a special tunnel called an underpass. Now, there'll be another train along soon, but I want you to remember to always use the proper crossings at a railway line, and above all, stay off the track. Yes, that'll sound good. Hurry up, Viz. We've just finished the song. Yeah. Oh, can I hear it, please, Judy? Certainly. Cross the track in the proper place. Using a bridge is really ace. A crossing, too. But mind the cars. And don't forget the underpass. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Judy. Keeping your head, what the tweeny shed, then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Clickety clack, clickety clack, trains along the railway track. Clickety clack, clickety clack, stay safe by the railway track. Use the right place to go over the line. Bridge or crossing, both are just fine. Those trains go fast from town to town. So keep off the track, you can get knocked down. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together.
safe with the tweenies. Hot cooker. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh, this is great, Max. I love it when you have a good throw up. I, I think you mean throw out, Jake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know we had so many things. Oh, neither did I, Milo. Oh, look, books. Oh, yes, that's a recipe book, Jake. Oh, oh look at these red and blue cakes. Oh, they look really yummy. Oh, yeah, great, Max. Can we make them now? Oh, well, I, I'm sorry, but uh, I've still got a lot of sorting out to do, you know. Oh. But I think Judy's in the kitchen. Why don't you ask her if she can help you? Oh, yeah. yeah! Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. What on earth am I going to do with all these, eh? Oh. I might need a wee bit more sugar. Milo, stand back. What? What? I've got a hot saucepan here and the oven is on. Oh, oh. You mustn't come so close when I'm cooking. Oh. That could have been a nasty accident. Oh, sorry, Kitty. Yeah. Oh, someone could have got burned, you know. Some places in the kitchen are dangerous. Oh, sorry, Judy. No. What did you want to show me? Well, we wanted to make cakes with you, Judy. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, it's a bit difficult just now. I'm baking an apple pie for tea. But we can make them later, all right? OK, okay Judy. I don't know. Hi, Max. Hi. Oh, hello, you two. Hey, aren't you meant to be making cakes? Well, Judy's busy at the moment. Yeah, we were naughty in the kitchen. Hey. She told us off for getting too close to the cooker and the oven. Yeah, we didn't even know the oven was on. Uh, oven? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, this is the idea. Oh. Now, you have to put these red floor tiles yeah. by the hot places in the kitchen. Oh. Yes, and these blue floor tiles yeah. by the cold areas. Oh. And then you'll see where the hot, dangerous places are, won't you? And you won't go near them, OK? Yeah, yeah. Kay. Right, Max. <laughs> right. Oh. Now, let's start with uh, the cooker. Okay. Oh. Now, is the cooker a dangerous place? Uh, yes, yes, Max. Max. Right. The oven can get very hot. Yeah. And you can't tell if the oven is on or off just by looking at it. Yeah. So we'll put lots of red tiles all around here, I think. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's yep, it. That's it. <laughs> I do this one. Right. Now, let's go to the fridge. Right. To the fridge. Oh, oh Max, Max. Blue uh, tiles, because it's cold. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're very cold. Lots of blue tiles. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Yeah. Now, there. what about the microwave? Oh, uh, well, when the food comes out, it uh, can be very hot, Max, so we need red tiles. Red. That's right, Milo. Oh, yes. You've got the idea. Ah, <laughs> Put yeah. red tiles around it Help and you'll be him. safe. Yes. Yeah. Red. <laughs> oh, it was a brilliant idea of Max's to make red and blue areas in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Now we can really see where the dangerous areas are. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm staying on the blue tiles, Judy. Oh, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was brilliant idea to make the cakes from Max's book. Yes. Oh, are they ready to eat yet, Judy? Oh, well, let's see, shall oh, we? Oh, yeah, come on! Ah. Here we go. Oh, look! Oh, the red and blue cakes match our tiles. Yes. Oh, yeah! Red for hot, yep. blue for cold! Hey. <laughs> Try a cool blue coconut ice. Oh, oh yes, Whoa, please! Yamaruni. They look oh, delicious! Yum, 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 yum. Oh, well, these jam tarts oh. are still hot. Oh, careful. careful, Judy! Red hot! <laughs> <laughs> It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenies said. Then, then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. Hot, 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 hot. Something in the kitchen are hot. Hot, 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 hot. Let's see what we've got. The oven is red, the hob is too. The kettle is red, but the fridge is blue. Microwave food can be very hot. Careful of the iron and mine. That hot! It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe Kettle and teapot. Right, 
everyone. Here are some gorgeous cakes I made earlier. And there are five teacups, so, um, that's one each. Tea, anyone? What's that, elephant? You want a proper cup of tea? Well, um, I can't make you a proper cup of tea, cos I'm not allowed. I know it's a tea party, but we always have pretend tea. What? You all want proper tea? Hey, I've just had the best idea ever. Tell you what, I'm going to get you a cup of tea from the kitchen. A real one. Just wait there. Max, I want to... Oh, where's Max gone? Oh, no. I wanted him to help me make a real cup of tea. Well, I'll just have to do it on my own then. I've watched Gran make tea hundreds of times. First, I have to turn the kettle on. No, that's naughty. Oh, who are you? I'm the little voice in your head <laughs> that tells you how to be safe. Oh, you're right. I'm not allowed to touch switches. It could be dangerous. Mm. But it's only a little switch. Yes. I just have to touch it for a second and flick it down. Only grown-ups are allowed to do that. Yeah. And you could scold yourself on the hot steam that comes out of the kettle. Yeah. I'll be very careful. Then you've got to pour out all the boiling water into a teapot. Oh, yeah. I can pour very neatly. I'm good at pouring. But you know, a cup of tea is very hot. It just it is. It could be a disaster. Just imagine. Hmm. It's ready. See that steam coming out of the kettle? Mm -hmm. That's really hot and dangerous. But it does look pretty. Now, two tea bags should be enough. <laughs> plop, plop, plop. <laughs> now, I've just got to pick up this kettle. Oh, heavy. Oh, oh. <sighs> See how heavy the kettle is? Yeah. And it's full of boiling hot water. Yes. You could drop it all over yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I see. Now for the pouring. I like pouring. <laughs> oh, oh, spilt a bit. Oh. You could have a nasty accident. Boiling water is very, very hot. Yeah. It can burn your skin really badly. Oh, dear. I'll just take this to the... was horrible. What a nightmare. See what can happen, Bella. Mm. It seems so easy to make a simple cup of tea, yeah. but it's not a good idea. Yes, you're right. I'm never, ever going to do that till I'm old enough. Good for you, Bella. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, and thank you. Oh, hi, Bella. Hi, Matt. I didn't see you coming here. I just went to find my book. Oh. I put it in the messy box. I must be going potty. <laughs> <laughs> right then, I'm just going to make myself a nice cup of tea. No, Max! Hey? Oh, Max, it's far too dangerous. Uh, Come and have some juice with me instead. Oh. <laughs> it's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the tweenie said. Make a cup of hot tea. Hot tea, hot tea. What could go wrong? Let's see. The kettle is heavy, hot water can scold. The teapot may fall. You must do as you're told. If you want a hot drink, what have we learned? Ask a grown up, then you won't get burnt. It's fun to play with your friends every day. Safe with the tweenies. Canal. My 
says, Oh, hi, Bella. You're okay, Fizzy? Only you look as if something's wrong. No, there's nothing wrong, Bella. Then why the long face? Well, it's just that Max has gone to a canal today with Emma and her granny. Oh, I wish we could go too. Oh, it's only an old canal, Fizz. But it's lovely there, Bella, really lovely. You see these pretty old-fashioned boats chugging up and down. Oh, Fizz is right about the boats, you know. They're called narrow boats. They're long and thin so they can travel down narrow canals. People live on them too and paint them in lovely bright colours, like this one up ahead. Hey, hey, where are you going, Emma? Now, come back, please. Yep, that's right. Now, hold hands again, there's a good girl. You should never run along the path beside the canal. Oh, you might slip and fall in the water. Or, or you might trip over one of these mooring ropes. Now, they're there to stop the canal boat from floating away. But they can be dangerous. If you tripped over one, you could really hurt yourself or fall into the canal. <laughs> oh dear, oh? Fizz and Bella don't look very happy. Yeah, they look like me when I've lost my bone. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you two, spill the beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, Max is visiting a canal today and we want to go with him. Oh, I'd really love to go to a canal. Yeah. Oh, I love feeding the ducks, don't you? <laughs> oh, but look, we're not standing right by the edge of the water. Why? Because it's so easy to fall in. You see, it's not like being at the swimming pool. There are no steps here. So if you fall in the canal, it can be very hard to get out. No, it's much safer to stand well back from the edge. Ah, all those lovely trees and fields. Don't you wish you could be by a canal? Oh, yes. More than anything else in the whole wild world. But I stand back from the edge. Ah. Oh, Gloomaroonie. Oh, have you all got tummy ache? I look like that when I've got tummy ache. No, Jakey. We're just a bit fed up. Because we want to go to the canal with Max and see the pretty boats and rocks. Rocks? Do they have ginormous keys? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Jakey. Oh, it's not like a door lock, mate. It's for the boats. I watched one working once. It's really cool! Oh, I agree with Milo. A lock is the most interesting place on a canal. <laughs> now, you see that water gushing in over there? It's lowering this narrow boat down a level so it can travel onto the next bit of canal. Yes. Oh, yes. But a lock is also the most dangerous place on a canal. Now, that's why Emma's standing back there out of the way with her granny. Look how deep it is down there. Well, if you fall into a lock, it's almost impossible to get out again. So you must always remember to keep well away from locks. Oh, now then, Emma, we must get a move on. Your granddad's going to take us all for a ride on his narrow boat, and we don't want to keep him waiting, do we? <laughs> Come on, let's go and get our life jackets. I don't believe this. Now they're having a boat ride, too. Oh. Oh. Hello? It's me, Judy. Oh, hi, Max. Listen, jump in the car and join us. Folks, Max says if I take you in the car, would you like to join him and Emma for the boat ride? Oh, yes! yes! yes Emma! Right, well, before we set off, let's just remember how to be safe by a canal. You can't win. Stay back from the edge in case you fall in. The lock is where you should take the most care. It's dark and it's deep, so don't fall down there. It's fun to play with your friends every day, and we'll all play safe together. Is anyone there?
show you how to make them. She did, Milo. She knows all sorts of cool things. <laughs> oh, I see that one, Bella. Not as good as mine, Milo. Oh. Woo! Oh. Oh. oh, I don't know what to do with this silly door. One minute it opens, next minute it's stuck. Oh, I'll see if I've got anything in the shed to fix it with. Yes. <laughs> I, I bent the wings back yeah. a bit. Oh, this will be the best flight ever, Bella. <laughs> Whee! Oh! <laughs> Mind. I'll soon get it back. Yeah. Oh no! This is the door that won't open. Oh. I can't get out into the garden. Oh, 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 and I can't see Max. What's he going to do, oh, Milo? I don't know. Yes, I do. That window's open. I can climb out. Do you think you should, Milo? Oh, I don't see why not. It'll only take a second. Then we can get on with our game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, stop messing oh. about, Milo. It's oh. not funny. Oh, I'm not messing about. Oh, Bella, I really am stuck. Oh, help! Help! Hey, help. Oh, yeah. Milo's climbing out the window. Oh. I mean, stop, Milo. I'm coming. Oh, oh there oh. you go. Oh, oh, it's horrible oh. being stuck like that. Oh, dear. Hey? Oh, no, what? hang on a minute, Milo. Where do you oh. think you're going? Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, you've opened the door now, thanks. Oh, no, not uh -oh. so fast, Milo. Huh? You did a really silly thing just then. Whatever the reason, you should never climb out of a window. Huh? You can fall and hurt yourself. Yes, can. Really? Well, think about it, Milo. Suppose, suppose the window's up high, huh? at your bedroom window, say, or at the top of a block of flats. Huh? You can fall right down to the ground. Oh, it's terribly dangerous. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry, Max. Oh, that's okay, Milo. Uh, I think you've learned your lesson. Mm. Yeah, and I won't do it again, Max. <laughs> oh, yes, I've fixed that door so it won't stick again now. Now I think I'll go inside for a cup of tea. Uh, would you two like a drink? Well, yes, please, Max. No, thanks, Max. I yeah. want to play a bit more. Oh, I want to Here we go. Right, this is going to be a good one. I know it. Whee! Oh, no. My paper dart has gone over the gate into the street. Oh, I know. I'll nip out of the front door and fetch it. Whee! <laughs> We're back. Oh. I don't know the dart. <laughs> what happened then? You shut Jake's fingers in the door, Bella. Oh. Oh, it's okay, Jay. It won't hurt for long. Oh, it's getting a little better now, Where are we going anyway, Bella? Nowhere. Bella, were you going outside on your own? No, yes, Kitty. And you slammed the door and hurt Jake's fingers, didn't you? Oh, yeah. oh, what's going on? Bella's in trouble with Judy. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry I hurt you, Jay. Oh, it's okay, Bella. I'm sorry, Judy. I promise I'll never slam the door or run outside on my own again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'll never climb out of another window. Oh, then I can't fall and get hurt. Oh, Milo. You climbed out, out of the, the window? window? Yeah. So are we all friends again? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah. yeah. What you should always do, please. Go quite out of windows when no one's around. You could find yourself falling down to the ground. Never slam doors, no, never be rushed. Somebody's fingers just might get crushed. It's fun to play with your friends every day. And we'll all play safe together.
Milo is a hot sunny beach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, mate. We made yeah. it because Max has gone to the beach today. Oh, oh, do you know which beach Max has gone to then? I uh, know. I do. Go on then, tell us, Milo. Well, it's probably Butter Beach. Butter, butter Beach? Yeah, that's right, Butter Beach. Whatever is it called, Butter Beach? You'll see. Yeah. Well, here I am at the beach. Oh, it's one of my favourite places. <laughs> I used to love building sandcastles and exploring rock pools when I was a lad. <laughs> but, uh, well, the beach can sometimes be dangerous. On hot, sunny days, one of the biggest dangers is getting burnt by the sun. That's why wearing a sun hat and putting on sunblock is a good idea. It's beautiful here on our beach. Mm, but, uh, we might get sunburned. So we have to wear some sunblock and a sun hat. Hey, Max said that. What, the bit about the sun hat? No, Milo, uh, that funny bit. Uh, but, uh, uh, they both said, but, uh. Oh, that's right. So they did. <laughs> oh, paddling in the sea is a wonderful thing to do when the weather is nice and, and the sea is calm. <laughs> but, uh, you should never go into the sea without an adult. Waves can easily knock you over and, and pull you out to sea. Hey, Milo, Max said it again. <laughs> so he did, mate. <laughs> okay, what's going on? I mean, what's so funny about Max telling us not to go in the sea on our own? <laughs> well, Max keeps saying, but uh. Don't you get it yet? <laughs> oh, this is my favourite part of the beach the rocks. Oh, there are so many interesting things to see and find. <laughs> but, uh, you must be very careful if you climb over the rocks. They're usually covered with this stuff. Seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed is very slippery. And if you slip on the rocks, you can really hurt yourself. Max said it again. When he was telling us about the very slippery seaweed. <laughs> it does sound funny. But, uh... Oh, do you get it, then? <laughs> get what, my dear? Oh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Oh. oh, isn't this rock pool lovely? Oh, it's a tiny world, all of its own. <laughs> I could look at it for hours. <laughs> but, uh, look, that's the trouble with exploring rock pools. It can be so exciting, you forget the time. Then, something very dangerous can happen. That's right. The tide can come in and cut you off. I mean, imagine not being able to get back to the beach. He said it again, Milo, <laughs> when he told us about getting cut off by the tide coming in. Yeah, oh, come on, so tell us, please. Oh, okay. What did I say the beach was called? What a beach. Yeah. yeah. And what does Max keep saying? You can sunbathe, but uh, you must wear sunblock. You can paddle, but... You should never go into the sea without an adult. Mm. You can climb over the rocks, but uh, be careful you don't slip. Yeah. And you can look in the rock pools, yeah. but uh, don't forget about the tide coming in. <laughs> right. I get it. It's called But A Beach. Oh. Butter Beach. Oh, right. Of course. Butter Beach. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I still don't get it. Oh. Oh.